Hi everyone, I'm Sam Bettens. It is 73 degrees Fahrenheit at Palm Springs Airport. It's also 4.50 a.m. in the morning and I'm about to fly to Belgium for my first show as Sam Bettens. I'm pretty excited, not just about the show, but also about this 20-hour economy flight I'm about to embark on. It is barely five minutes later and I'm already on the other side. TSA was blissfully uneventful and I want you guys to appreciate. Can you see all that? How incredibly pretty this airport is. It's hard to leave here, not that easy. I mean, I like Belgium, but I mean, palm trees. Part of my morning routine is a little bit of oatmeal, some tea, start this day off just right. Bird number one on to Salt Lake City. Cheers. Well, I'm in Brussels airport and this is what a person looks like after they've been traveling all night. It is raining sideways, which has become kind of a running joke between me and my mom who keeps claiming that it was really nice right before I got here. Anyway, my parents are probably waiting for me on the other side, which is always so nice. I'm gonna go take a nap. Well, so far my arrival in Belgium has been anticlimactic to say the least. I've been here for 45 minutes. The welcome committee, also known as my parents, is not here. Got myself a uh, tall decaf soy latte to console myself and uh, we'll see what happens. Everything turned out okay. My parents were stuck in traffic. They did pick me up. It's been 23 hours now since I woke up in Palm Desert to fly over here and I am ready for a nap. As wonderful as it feels to go to sleep after a long flight like that, that's as awful as it feels to wake up from that nap. You just don't know where you are and you just want to stay in bed. But I did get up, took a bath, which was nice. I went to the store with my mom and bought a little birthday present for my niece, saw my brother and his wife and his kids, had a nice veggie lasagna dinner at my parents' house. And now I'm just checking up on emails, doing some social media, getting ready for a workout before I go to sleep for reals. Anyway, all well in Belgium so far. Looking forward to the next couple of days. We are on our way to a TV show in Holland. Uh, this is the route to Amsterdam and things are looking up because I found a Starbucks in between all the flatness. Um, I'm excited because this is the first time I'm going to be on uh, live TV since my coming out. It's going to be in Holland where people talk a little different from me, a little faster, a little more comfortable with their language than I am usually in Flemish. But I'm excited because um, I'm getting time, I'm getting 20 minutes to talk about the things I want to talk about and we had a great conversation ahead of time about uh, really letting people know what trans is about. They're gonna take their time, which, uh, which I really appreciate. So um, it's all good, off to Amsterdam. And just like that, I find myself in beautiful Amsterdam. And I wanna take a minute to talk about pride. June is Pride Month. People have asked me before, are gay pride parades still necessary? Haven't you guys already gotten everything you want? Gay marriage is legal now, right? Well. It's true, we have come a long way. We have friends from a generation before us who were pioneers, who had to fight really hard to be who they really are. And there's a generation after me that doesn't even think twice anymore about gay or transgender, but there's still a lot of work to be done. There are still a lot of places in the world where it's not safe to be gay or transgender. And frankly, it's not always safe here in Europe or in America either. And while there is still a lot to fight for, pride is also about celebrating. Celebrating who we are and celebrating who we love. I've been to my share of pride events in my life and I've always felt safe, happy, and understood. And touched, often by people who I don't expect to be there. Parents of trans or gay youth. Churches that want to let the world know that they accept and love everyone. 
That's the kind of stuff that gets to me. That's the kind of stuff that makes me happy when someone who's not gay or transgender takes a stand and walks along with all of us. And do we need to see gay guys at these events dancing around to I Will Survive in little speedos? Yes, we do. First of all, they often have great bodies. It's great to look at. Second, they're having a great time and they're happy. How could that possibly be offensive to anyone? And this is what a TV show looks like when it's all over. Lights are out. It's a little bit of a sad deal, but anyway, it was great. I was nervous first time. I was going to talk live about coming out, um, but it was super nice. It was very respectful. I really had time to talk, uh, which I appreciated. And now I'm going home to watch some soccer. I can see. Push-ups, trip to the barbershop, which I love. I wish I could go every week. And then I'm heading over to my brother's house to get ready for the show tonight. And that is my mom getting home. Those are my parents. This is the house I grew up in. And that is the soccer goal where I scored many goals.
great uncle. Oh, he's a fantastic uncle. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs>